When is an anime considered a masterpiece? What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Professor Anime coming back at you with another video. In today's video guys, I'm bringing you another discussion video and today's topic is when is an anime considered a masterpiece? So let's get this start. Masterpieces in general in any forms of literature is very hard to come by. Some people might have a high opinion of a book, TV show, video game, or even an anime at that, while others on the other hand might not have the same high opinion as the others do. So if you haven't guessed it yet, this video is going to be entirely my opinion. Now when it comes to me, there are some anime out there that I really do much enjoy and I have a very high opinion of, but when it comes to considering them masterpieces on the other hand, it's really hard to say and I'm pretty sure most of you out there have a very high opinion of a specific anime title that you very much enjoy. However, is that considered a masterpiece? What makes a masterpiece in an anime anyway? Is it the story? What about the characters? Is it the unique world building within the anime? In my personal opinion, it's a combination of all those things. However, the anime must serve the purpose as a emotional connection for the viewer. If you can find an anime out there that has a well-written story, well-written, defined, and relatable characters, a unique setting, and also if the anime makes you cry on some extent, then that, I would consider, is a masterpiece. So, Professor Anime, are you saying that you have cried to anime? Maybe. No! Okay, sure, maybe once or twice I have, but that just shows you how much of a connection I actually had with said anime. And like I said before, you know, if an anime has a very well-written story, the characters are relatable, and the atmosphere of the anime itself is very well done and is unique, and you can actually connect with the anime on some emotional level, then that would be considered a masterpiece in my eyes at least, in my personal opinion. And don't get me wrong, it is very hard to find masterpieces out there in anime. Only few have ever come close to like having a emotional connection with me. Only a few. A few series I've actually rated a 10 out of 10, I will admit that, but even rating anime is hard, and that's another discussion for a later topic, because it is very hard to consider any series a masterpiece, because there are so many out there. So what do you guys think? What would you consider a masterpiece in a anime? And have there been any anime that actually have connected with you on some personal emotional level? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to stay up to date to my future content on this channel, please hit the red subscribe button below and you'll never miss a video from me. That about does it for this video, guys. Love you all and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day.